What is good, Neo family? It's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I'm going to be talking about the one and only Neo stock and why I'm very, very bullish for the future of this company. I'm also going to talk about the overall stock market, what's going on with the news, what's going on with Neo stock, and why I'm super, super bullish for next week and the upcoming weeks for this company because I see some amazing, amazing growth coming our way. Now, before I get into any more details, before I talk about Neo's Twitter, what's going on, I do have to mention a couple of very important things first. The first thing is I'm not a financial planner, so please do not take this as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. It not only benefits me, but the entire new community as a whole. And the last thing is, if you guys can, please check out the Mumu link down below and in the description. If you do sign up for Mumu and deposit $100, you're not only going to qualify for up to five free stocks, each worth up to $3,500, but you're also going to get a free NEO share. So if you want a free NEO share, if you want the ability to trade NEO on the Hong Kong exchange, check out the offer down below because NEO is going to the absolute moon and this is a very good opportunity. It lasts only for the month of March. So please check it out. With that out of the way, let's get on with the video. So looking at NEO, we just blew past expectations. We're up over 10.84% for the day and we are going to the moon. NEO is looking amazing. It's about to get really hot, guys. It's looking awesome and I'm still very, very bullish getting in into next week now in my previous video i did make a mistake i did talk about the fact that i did see a pullback in the market coming out for you know the short term and I, I was kind of wrong about that i was very sick and not in the best of states and i apologize for that but i don't agree that the pullback is going to come that soon i do see a pullback day coming out in the next i would say week or two there will be one day i was right about that i just called it a little bit too early but just don't worry about that right now i'm very bullish i do apologize for sometimes i will make mistakes sometimes i will feel ill but right now i'm much better and i see this thing running to the moon next week and i'm going to show you guys exactly why so the whole market is now starting to run to the upside i think after interest rates did end up rising after they we got the hike that we were looking for after Jerome Powell announced that the market did what we had anticipated so because they did that because we got to see that a lot of these big institutions realized why are we out of the market we don't necessarily have a good short thesis so these companies that have been hammered by the shorts they are starting to soar to the moon and i believe that we're about to continue and see this big 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 squeeze like event really take place across the whole market for small to mid cap stocks and neo so looking at the market right now it's less fearful than before it still is it's still showing a little bit on the fearful side but not as bad as before and we're approaching the greedy side the market's getting very greedy it's improving and things are looking very good now there's lots of news about the the virus spreading in the usa you know we went through this for the last two years i don't see this as something that's going to cause a big correction i don't think that that's what we want i think the market especially these small to mid caps they took such massive hits for so long and it's ready to run up no matter what they try to do this time i'm very very bullish i don't think this is going to affect us too much now there are some global tensions involving china and taiwan also with you know russia and ukraine that can affect us here and there but as of right now, we haven't had anything that's too bad that really caused a big shift yet. So I don't see this as being too concerning as of right now. And I definitely believe that we're going to continue to see lots of bullish price action going forward because I think the bears are exhausted and the algos have flipped and we're finally seeing the change that we are talking about. So looking at the SPY, we're up 1.1%. I expect the SPY to keep running to the $450 range. I think it's going to keep going. Then it's going to have a small rejection probably sometime next week. Just have a slight dip before it bounces right back to the upside and continues to run and run and run. We may even approach the all-time high or at least get close to that in the upcoming months. So it's looking very, very good right now. Now, looking at something else that's important, this does relate to NEO. I'm about to get there. The IWM was very short. You guys have to remember the shorts destroyed it and now it's starting to see a, a reversal and we're seeing that squeeze effect take place so as a result small to mid caps are going to start running especially from the russell 2000 and in turn this is going to help companies like neo show us how amazing they are so what do i see happening to neo where is the share price going to be going well i'm going to show you guys that in one second check this out here we were running 
right? We, we've been dropping, I'm sorry, since November, dropping and dropping and dropping in this falling wedge pattern. I deleted the wedge because we're out of it now. I just want to let you guys know we found the bottom at 13 bucks and we're running from there and we are not going to stop at 20. We're not stopping at 21. We're going to keep going and going. So in the next, I would say week or two, I wouldn't be surprised if we make it all the way up to $27 because this is where this gap is right here. This gap never got filled. You guys see this gap? I was telling you guys in previous videos, we have a gap up here. We also did have a previous gap down there, but I do not see us going back down. I see us just running and running and running, and we're looking very, very bullish. So going into next week, I expect Neo to start approaching the $24 range. I would not be surprised if he ran that hard. And I think we're going to see some very bullish price action because of that. Now, let me show you guys some technical analysis that actually backs up that claim because I did it before, but I need to show you guys. So right now, the RSI is showing this upward trend to the point where Neo has this very, very good amount of strength that's going to push it forward. We got this flip from the MACD and the nine day moving average showing this very, very good looking uh, bullish momentum. And we got this separation from the positive and negative DMI lines, which is showing very good momentum too. So the last thing I want to show you is the EMAs. Uh, right here, we were dropping, right? But then we get that 1348 EMA crossover right here. That's an indicator that, look, we're running, we're running, we're running after we got that curl. And that's an indicator that we're going to start running even more. So like I said, I think Monday is going to be a green day. I think we're going to run to the $24 range very soon. And I'm very, very, very bullish. I think 24 is going to come sometime next week for Monday, right? I think we're going to actually touch 22, maybe 2250 for some time. And we're going to trade in the $22 range. That's what I see for Monday. And I'm very, very bullish. Now, I do want to talk about other pieces of news coming out. Uh, this right over here, according to the Monthly Fools, talking about how big the Chinese EV market is. Remember, when it came to the SUVs, you had a 23% share of the SUVs, but now they're not just entering SUVs. We're starting to see them enter into different sectors with their ET7. And ET7 is going to start deliveries. And as they start deliveries and get bigger and bigger and bigger, when the bulls control the share price, these pieces of news are going to affect you know the price of NEO and other things going forward. So I also see big moves coming as well because of the fact that there are a lot of regulators that are working with the US. They are improving their uh, fundamentals and th with the regulations, which I just think is very good. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is this right here. Neo put on their Twitter page, according to Neo Global, that's spanning the globe and multiple disciplines, Neo sponsored design projects. They have many big design projects that are interacting with students, right? They're going to improve interactions with students and they have new facilities coming out to improve real world work experience for students. So in my opinion, that's going to be very awesome. This, in my opinion, is going to be huge as well because these new projects that are coming out are going to help influence people to get involved in the company and actually improve it fundamentally. So we want new ideas. People are very, very awesome. And a lot of people are very very excited because of the fact that people are getting real world experience. They're not just learning in a typical, you know, traditional school fashion. And Neo is just innovating left and right. I can't wait for what the future holds. So to end the video, I'm very excited. I'm very, very bullish. And I can't wait for what the future holds. I want to thank you all for listening. Never give up on your dreams and get ready for the moon because Neo is going to be sent there very, very soon. I thank you for listening. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Neo to the moon, and peace out.